Welcome back once again to another edition of Knights TV. I'm Kyle Gamard along with Spencer Burke. And Spencer, this is the Knights' second straight three-game set, kicking things off Friday against the Oshawa Generals. Yeah, the Knights hosted the Generals on Friday, Kyle. They were defeated 4-2. Oshawa jumped out to a quick start in this one, but London showed a lot of fight in that final frame, almost tying things up. A couple nights forwards that had big games. Connor McMichael starting to sound like a broken record. Two helpers on the night, and Antonio Strange, the rookie, notched another goal as well. Yeah, and one of the leaders, Cole Timken, was spectacular in this one as well. He was very optimistic about the team moving forward. Cole, you guys made it real interesting there in the third period. Uh, the first two were a little bit slower, but you guys came out reeling there in the third. Is that something you want to build off of going into tomorrow's game? Yeah, well, for sure, we want to play like that all three periods, and. Uh... We didn't, we didn't really come out to show in the first two periods, but uh, I felt like we were desperate in the third, and that's why we got to play throughout the whole game. Yeah, Kyle, Cole Timken, he had a reason to be optimistic. The Knights finished the weekend very strong. Saturday, they were back in action at home against the Kitchener Rangers, and they defeated the Rangers by a score of 6-2. to two. Yeah, and you know what? I don't know what Coach Dale Hunter said to the boys, but clearly they were ready to go for this one. They started on time. They were relentless. They were skating. They were physical. And noted, too, the line of Connor McMichael, Matt Vaguskoff, and Nathan Dunkley were formed back together once again. We talked Talked about them on opening night, Spencer. They were relentless in this one, and their chemistry was phenomenal for the course of it. Yeah, Kyle, those guys were phenomenal. Another guy who's been phenomenal, Adam Boquist, now has 10 assists on the season. You can tell he's gotten more and more comfortable with each start. It was a big game for a lot of London players, but especially for one night's run. Here are the Knights. Panwar comes in with a shot, misses, and then he puts it in. Sahil Panwar scores for the Knights, his first OHL point. Yeah, of course, a big congratulations going out to Sahil Panwar for notching his first career OHL goal. Here he was after the game. Yeah, it's obviously special getting the first one out of the way. Felt obviously, it feels amazing now. It's just keep going and keep going in more. Now, Kyle, we mentioned a bunch of players, but we haven't mentioned goaltenders. How about Jordan Coy? Pivotal in that Saturday afternoon win. He actually leads the Ontario Hockey League in goals against average, but on Sunday, it was his teammate who got the start. Yeah, Joseph Raymakers was spectacular in this one against the Sarnia Sting, coming out with a 4-2 victory. He stopped 36 pucks his way, earning him the game's first star. It's really showing that the Knights have two guys out there who can steal them games. Yeah, and this was overall just a huge team win, four different goal scores, and it was that third game in as many contests, so just a big two points for the Knights to walk away from the weekend with a winning record. Yeah, and looking ahead to this weekend, the Knights have two games starting things off in Ottawa against the 67s. One of the best teams in the Ontario Hockey League sporting a 10-3-1 record, and after that they go on Saturday to take on Kingston. Yeah, as you mentioned, back-to-back -back road contest going to be a true test for these London Knights this weekend. For Knights TV, I'm Spencer Burke. And I'm Kyle Gamard.